going to show you one of my favorite snacks to make and to eat and it's called the slithering celery snake. So I'm going to show you all the ingredients and all the steps so then you can try to make it at home. Let's get started. So the supplies that you need is a plate and a knife and then for your ingredients you need raisins, some celery, cream cheese, or you can do peanut butter. It's whichever one you would like more. I'm going to use cream cheese because I like it more than peanut butter. So now I'm going to get started for all of our steps on how to make a celery snake. At the end of this video, I'm going to put a picture of a checklist of the order of steps that you can follow when you're making this snack at home. So, step number one, wash your hands. And then your second step is going to be to get your celery. So you can get the celery and however many pieces you would like. You can do more if you're making for maybe one of your friends or family. Um, I'm going to do two because I am going to make some extra. So then you can cut it into however many pieces you would like. Make sure you have an adult or parent nearby when you're using a knife. So I cut my celery into three pieces, just so they're sort of small, medium pieces, um, so I can make my snake. So your next step is going to be to put either whichever one you choose or have, cream cheese or peanut butter, onto your celery. You can use the same knife that you use to cut the celery as you can use to then spread it too. So I'm going to spread my cream cheese however much you like, onto the middle of my celery. It's up to you on what you want to do and how you want to make your snake. So you can think of anything creative um, or any snake that you want to make with your celery. So I'm going to make my snake sort of zigzag. So I'm going to choose for this to be the head. So I'm going to make this sort of like the head of the snake and I'm going to make it sort of zigzag on the plate. So you can do it however you would like to. So now we're on to the last step. So to finish off your slithering celery snake, you're going to put some cream cheese or peanut butter in two spots in the front and then add some raisins. So I'm going to take two small scoops and put it on the front of my celery piece, just enough that a raisin would stick onto it. And then we get two raisins. and stick them onto the front of the celery. So then you have your slithering celery snake. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you get to enjoy this yummy snack too. Bye!